Hello guys, welcome back to this video. So today in this video, I'm doing this intro with the bare face because in today's video, I'm going to be doing my makeup with my left hand. Now, if you guys don't know, I am right-handed. So this is going to probably end up into a mess because I'm going to do everything with my makeup with my left hand today. And I'm so nervous. I hope it turns out good. But for the safe side, we're going to do the intro with no makeup on our face. My skin has been clearing up finally, guys. Like, I still have like breakouts and stuff, and then acne scars and all, but my skin has been getting a little bit better. I do not know what this is. It's like all red. It's been red for a while. I don't know what it is. Like, my chin's breaking out, but that's probably because of my mask that we still have to wear. But yeah, so that's what we're going to do in today's video. But if you guys want to see how that is, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell, ring on notification, get notified every time I post a video and be part of the turtle fam. Also, like the video and comment down what other videos you guys like to see. And let's get started into this video. Alright, getting started into this video. First thing we're going to do is moisturize our skin because I just washed my face and my skin's a little bit dry. So I'm going to use the daytime facial moisturizer. This is the Walgreens brand and it has... SPF, SPF 30 in it for sunscreen. I've been trying to get my skin used to sunscreen. Obviously, I'm, not, I'm using both hands for this, but obviously for, even or for in the winter, you should still wear your sunscreen. I've now just started getting into sunscreen with moisturizers after trying this one. So I kind of been liking it. I don't know how I feel about it yet, but it feels right. A little bit sticky though. And again, my skin is a little dry and my, look at these nails. Oh no, I need to get them done though. I'm gonna get them done for my birthday. I have to make them a little bit blue. I'm gonna work on for some reason. Oh, better? Okay. It looks, kind of, it looks fine. For my brows, I'm running out of brow pencils. So, yeah. I'm gonna use the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in shade number five. This is the part I'm nervous about because my brows are harder to do. I mean, I guess, mm, I guess, mm, <laughs> a little bit nervous, but I think we can do it. I think we can do it. What I think I'm nervous more about is, I'm gonna, I don't know. Let's just save that thought. I might attempt eyeliner. Okay, no, no. I don't even know how to hold this. Could I just do this? I just, so I should just, in here. I'm gonna get covered. I'm gonna show where I listen to music. This is hard. This is so hard, but you know what? We're just gonna do it. We're just gonna do it. It turns out terrible, it's fine. Now, I watch people do these types of videos, but I don't know if they did it in front of my eyebrows. Or did they do that off camera? Like I said, I am right-handed, but I I'm, I can actually write with both hands actually. But obviously, I'm not used to putting eyebrows with both hands. I don't even know how to do this. Okay, so and I always use my fingers to do that. It doesn't look too terrible. It's not definitely not filled in all the way, but. I guess that's fine. Moving on to the next part. This is so hard when you're drinking this. Definitely probably not a good time to get coffee. I just want to cheat just for this brown. So this is for sure a challenge. Okay. That looks a little better. I think if we just split through the product now, I think it'll be kind of fun. Okay. There we go. It's like a little bit film. Yeah. We're just gonna like it off. Because else we're gonna be on eyebrows for way too long. And it's gonna be like a little okay, to be fair, a little uneven. It's fine. So going in for concealer. Concealer, we're gonna use the Wet Model Photo Focus Concealer in the shade Medium Tawny. And it looks like this. Packaging. 
like this. Medium pony. Some kind of spray blades. This can be that one. This part. I think I do this one more. This can be that one. So we're just going to blend it out. Definitely go wrong. So for eyeshadow today, I thought I was like, ooh, let's do a colorful palette and do a coat to make it work today. Probably not the best idea. But this is the e.l.f. 18 Hit Wonders palette. And I was thinking, maybe going along with one of these. Along with it. Looks to try. It's the um, complimentary combos to inspire your next look. So I think I'm going to do this middle one. I think that'll be fun. All right, let's do it. We're gonna do that one. Mm -hmm. And now I don't know what this gonna look is gonna look like, but I, it has the heat color and that's a red. And the danger color. Which is a shimmering. And that's like a And then candy on all the little bit. You know what? We're just gonna do it. I'm pretty sure this look is gonna look crazy because. Should we do foil edge? Okay, but. On the same side, we're gonna take a big fluffy brush into that heat shade, which is all I'm closing. And it's a good thing I picked a new book today. I'm gonna start putting them. I'm not even gonna blend it in my crease. Sorry, I'm kind of like doing a little liner today just because. Okay, hold on. How do I blend it in my Circular motions, okay. <sighs> Guys, this is hard. This is hard. This is one of my creams. That's kind of a little blotchy. It's fine. We're gonna take this shade candy. This is the shade all over the lid. It was like. Yeah, it's all over the lid. <laughs> I don't know about this look. <laughs> so we're gonna take candy all over the lid. Which I'm gonna pick up this brush. Is that cheating? I think it's cheating. I don't know. But I'm gonna put it on my lid. Actually, it's not bad, but it's also not the painted, so we're gonna do So I'm just going to move the brush up with some of the candy shade and spray it. Oh, I totally missed that. Definitely missed that. And put the shade all over the wood. I would definitely have to do this look again, but with my right hand, just to actually see what it actually don't look like because I cannot blend out properly. I can't blend this out properly. Okay, and then the last shade this is Danger, which is this shade right here as the liner. Uh, this brush right here, it's like an eyebrow brush. I'm gonna pick it up on the brush and spray it. And quick, 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 It's kind of chunky, it's like getting in my lashes. There's that little wing. I don't know if you can see it. I realize it's kind of pointless for that shade. Alright, now let's do this time. I can blend 10 times better than this. I'm like getting a cramp in this arm. I'm like, ouch!
Okay, you guys are probably gonna be like, this looks like nothing. This looks like the looks that you always do. Ouch, that hurts. Just kidding. This is very difficult. If you're not left-handed, it's very difficult. I see YouTubers create a look with this hand. I'm like, they did this challenge before. This is not a new challenge. I'm like, how can I do it? I'm struggling. That's not blended. That's not cute. That's not what I'm doing with this look. I feel like it would be better if there was more colors and these weren't all shimmer. I feel like this would look a little bit better. The liner was actually like a brownish match it so red. Uh, you don't have much time you work. So you can start from this side. There's some blonde in there. Guys, this is so hard. I'm gonna cry because this looks awful. Like, look at that one. You guys see it? Yeah, you guys can definitely see it on camera. Okay. We're going to then curl our lashes and put on some mascara. Okay, this part is gonna be easy. You guys know I like to curl. I'm not going to put the on. And we're going to play some mascara. This is the Essence Volume Stylish Lash, Lash Extension Mascara. Um, I like this more for my bottom lashes than the top ones. Now, this is easy for me. I can play mascara. Just because I'm do it. I feel like the same emotion, so I can't really tell anything with this one. And I blinged on a lot. I don't really do much work for the lashes. Alright, that's the mascara. Like I said, I like it more on my lower lashes than on my um, top lashes. But we're then going to spray the face with the NYX. I feel like that just transferred. For primer, I'm gonna use this Pore Elf Poreless Putty Primer. I like this one. Let's go. Moose that into the pores. Moose it in. Pour the pores. It's kinda hard. Oh my god, I got that white black on my face. I'm gonna go do this one. This one. Okay. Now we are primed this up. Foundation. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. It's the matte one in the shade. Caramel. Medium deep. Warm. It's a medium deep shade for warm. More skin tone. I'm actually a neutral skin tone color actually, but I use this one in um, the original, the luminous one, and I like that one. Kind of matches my skin tone. As you guys know, I will blend it out with the brush first, and then I go in with a sponge. Blend it out with the brush. So obviously, I'm not gonna change up my techniques. I'm just switching hands. Oh no. I don't know what all this hair in my makeup yet. I remember I did a makeup tutorial. I did a makeup tutorial. This is gonna be enough on the on my face. First off, I just stabbed myself in the eye with this brush. I did a makeup tutorial. Um, 
my channel and I was doing my makeup and this is like when my dog was a puppy. She was a puppy. And literally I put it on my face. First off, I didn't realize she was chewing. She ate the brush. And her dog hair, I'm telling you, got up all in that brush. And when I was doing my makeup, I can't use those sides. I was doing my makeup for video. I literally was, I swiped on the foundation and a bunch of dog hair got on my face. Oh yeah, that was an eventful day. Now I'm going with my sponge. I just damped it under the sink. Again, covered in dog hair. So I feel like I beat my face a little bit harder. I'll do it again with crap. Doesn't look too terrible. Going in with the concealer again. Just a concealer. Uh, I don't know if I use this concealer again. It's really good. And it's a couple, a couple, a couple shades lighter than my actual, my actual foundation shades. So I, I think I bought this because I like to use it as a face shade, so I didn't have to wear that much makeup. When I was doing an everyday makeup tutorial, that was an old video. I think that's like my first ever makeup, makeup tutorial was my lazy makeup routine. Which would be very my feet. If, if you guys want to see that video, it's still up on my channel. I don't take it down. I haven't taken any of my videos down actually. So whatever is bad, they're up on the internet. Okay. Um, first thing i for. Look at this skin. It's not my best work, but it's okay. Now I'm gonna go on with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Transition Palpita, one of my favorite all-time powders. When I run out of this stuff, ooh, it's gonna be a sad day for me. I wish I stuck under the eyes. I really don't know why I'm setting my face with this because I cannot, I don't know how to hold a sponge. Alright, put my blush, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Setting powder is done. Moving on. This literally looks, I'm gonna be real honest with you, it is not my best work. I would actually use a transition shade, not something. Okay, all those shimmers I put, I mean, all those eyeshadows I use on my eye are shimmers. So, yeah. So, for bronzer, I have three of them. I don't know which one I want to use. So I have this one, the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush at Bronzer. And this is Take It to Brazil. But this is like not my shade right now. And then I have this one, which is called Sunset Strip Tease, which is a little bit darker. I might use this one. And then I have Palm Beach Ready, which is like a goldier tone and has too much, too much shimmer. So I think I'm going to play on the safe side and use a tiny brush like this and go in with this one which is called Sunset Strip Tease. I'm just going to play. Is it cheating if I use my other hand a little bit of the product? Because like literally I cannot get any of it for a while. Hmm, not bad. You need blend it now. Get away. What else we have in the video? First off, my lights fixed now finally. I had a big scare. Oh, my light. That, the bracket for this light, the ceiling light, broke. And, uh, it, um, no. Thank goodness it did not fall away though. Oh, that's sad. Now I'm gonna go in with this, um, my, my, I think this is the, these are the color icon blushes. I can't remember because the thing is not on here. And this is in pearlescent pink. I'm just gonna use some brush coats. Pearlescent pink. I'm just gonna put my cheeks.
Okay, back to the eyes. I think I'm just gonna take heat, shape heat, and put that on my lid actually. Just to play it safe. I'm scrolling down. Then we're going back in with that mascara. Guys, I'm telling you, this is, this is really hard. I keep saying that, but it actually is. Oh, I just got that. Oh. I just put that on my nose. I did. I was gonna do highlighter, but I'm kind of loving it without the glow because I kind of am glowy because of that bronzer. Like, can you that like natural glow and the blush for like sparkles in it? So I don't think you're ready to go. Now the only thing we need to do is lips. Since I already said that, it's lips or lip liner. Today's just a wet and wild kind of day. We're gonna use the Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liner. And this is in the shade Think Flamingos. Like pink flamingos, but it's Think Flamingos. <sighs> Wish me luck, because it's gonna be difficult. Mm -hmm. I learned moving is full important. Yeah. And then for lips, I'm going to use the She Glam. These are from the Wild Nude Liquid Lip Collection, and this is in the shade Neutral. I have Neutral and I have Naked. I'm just going to use a little bit of Neutral. Or this around, and you can go on and do this. And, it. and there we go. Here's the final look. What do you guys think of this? This was, I will say, this was a challenge. I was struggling to blend out the eyeshadow. That's why it looks a little bit blotchy. I was struggling to blend it out, but hey. Fine. This was actually a really fun challenge to do. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down what other videos you guys would like to see. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell, ring the notification, get notified every time I post a video. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.